Iron chlorosis is a problem throughout most of the state of Kansas and it varies a, a quite a little bit. We're here in the uh, Master Gardener's flower bed in Goodland and uh, we are in the western end corner of the state and our pH is here to run anywhere from seven to eight and a half uh, on the scale and plants are affected differently. You can see in these petunias that uh, they're starting to show up quite a little bit of iron chlorosis. Some plants are not affected as much. You can look up here and, and uh, you can see some plants that aren't affected and on right on beside them in the, in the very same soil is another plant that's almost gone because of the iron chlorosis. If you look at the uh, leaves, you will see that the veins remain dark in the center and the, and the foliage turns a, light, a real light green and a healthy foliage uh, would be more darker foliage like this would be more healthy than what you're looking for and this one here is showing a lot of iron chlorosis. It varies throughout how plants react to it. There's some things you can do in the flower bed to help out. Uh, in your annual flower beds, you, uh, when you remove the foliage in the fall, you can work in some Canadian uh, peat moss uh, that has a real low pH and that will help lower the pH which makes the iron a little more available to the plant. Uh, you can also, uh, we recommend soil testing about once every three years and that tells you where you're at with your pH. Uh, you can also in, in annual flower beds uh, work in some sulfur according to the, whatever the soil test tells you that you need and uh, work that into the soil in the fall to help out next spring. You can also fertilize with fertilizers that have uh, some sulfur in them. There's several things you can do to try to combat it. It, it is a problem towards the end of the year. They're, they're just running out of steam because of it but uh, you can work towards making it better for next year. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.